muzzle brake on a lathe. I just cut the major diameter of the threads here. Uh, came out perfect. 0.5625 inches. So next I'll make a relief cut back here, and then I'll start my threading. There's a relief cut. You can see it very well, but I'm just cutting the back corner. Zero my lathe out. And then I'll cut it to my little bit beyond my thread depth. Here the threads are being cut, the relief cut, so I'll finish cutting them and then show you. So here's the break. I kind of skipped a step, but as you can see, this is after I got the threads done. I kind of skipped ahead, but I'll edit this back to the right spot, so you can see it just barely tiny moves, so my threads are really tight, but there's that relief cut I made, my threads, and like I said, this fit perfect, so I'll skip back and finish this out here. muzzle brake the, the profile of the barrel. Uh, one thing I was going to note that when I usually dial these in with four jaws, but this is a three three jaw soft jaw, so with a spider on the end. Uh, when I I just tried this for the helmet and I zeroed it out and it, it was pretty much perfect for run out. So this is after I profiled it down a little bit and I'll index it. because this is an indexed muzzle brake. So index the flutes up to the sides and then I'll finish contouring it. And then it's a 308, so this, I think it's a 22 caliber now, but that'll get bored out to 20 thousandths over 308. And then we polish it up and to bead blast it to match it, but once I get it all put together here, I'll show you kind of the final product. There's the finished product, all timed and everything, so just bead blast it to finish that and crown it and everything, but of course I skipped a few steps, but that's kind of the general, general idea of doing a muzzle brake. And as you can see there, there's no, no line. So it's that line between the brake and the barrel disappeared. So there you go, putting on a muzzle brake.